I'm talking to you, advanced fucking Uno, who's been sitting in the same spot the entire game. You need to do more. Fuck, dude. I'm surprised you guys didn't win faster. My team was still in the same spot the whole time. I know, right? They had the fucking chase after him, bro. They kept in their spawn. Yeah, these guys just stood there, man. My whole fucking team stood in the spawn the whole time. Yeah, brother. Man, you got 28 deaths. You have 28 deaths. You fucking stupid camping piece of shit. Yeah, that was good. Time limit game. Ah, man. I, I, You know what? You know what? I was wrong. Advanced Uno. I was wrong. Your play style is so much more fun than running around. I just want to point that out. It's so much more fun to stand in one spot and not help my team at all. It's really good. Thank you. Way to go. Thank you. Have a good one. What would you guys rather watch? Advanced Uno play style. Or running around to lose. Yes. Another loss for the OG. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jordy Index, and welcome to a special trilogy video set. The next three videos you're going to see are all going to be in a row. You're going to see some of the same names because Call of Duty lets you stay in somewhat of the same lobbies now. But you're going to see a story arc. You're going to see at the beginning of this gameplay as a solo player. I run around and I'm killing it. I'm crushing it. And about the 7 minute and 47 second mark, I realize I'm never going to win this match. Nothing I will ever do will make me win this match. From the fact that all of a sudden the guy's guns turn into pay to win fucking over the top, just laser beams. To the fact that my teammate, let's just call him Advanced Uno because that's his fucking name. Literally sitting on the same staircase from the beginning of the match to the end of the match. No matter what happened in the game, no matter where we spawned, he was always in the same exact spot. You're going to see the trilogy. The average gameplay for a solo player who gets on trying to get you guys content. Game one will have half a live commentary, half non-live commentary. That's the one you're watching now. Game two will be all live commentary, me making fun of Advanced Uno's playstyle. And game three will be summarizing it all up. The characters will change, but most of them will stay the same. See people in game one and game three. It's just funny to me how fucking far this game has fallen. How absolutely brutal this game has become to play. How much of a chore it is. So stop playing it, shorty. I might. I literally might. Promise myself one year of Call of Duty content, but I am struggling here. I'm not having fun when I play the game. The game is fucking silence 99% of the time. There's no laughing. There's no joking. There's no having a good time. It's just silence. Gunshots and silence. When you get a kill, you don't feel like you got rewarded. You have to immediately question, is EOMM on your side or is it on their side? Because when you die, you have to also question the same thing. You'll feel the switch being toggled in the middle of the match and all of a sudden you go from doing really good to doing really, really shit. Or as a solo player like me, I get stuck with troglodytes like Advanced Uno sitting here standing on a staircase the whole game and my other teammates are the exact same. You're also going to notice another trend throughout this entire fucking goddamn playthrough of these trilogies. My team is never full. As a solo player, I'm already playing with one arm tied behind my back because I got to carry the absolute morons that are on my team most of the time. But then on top of it, you're not going to film my team? Game 2 is the laggiest piece of shit mess I've ever had because of the servers. How about you take some of that money, Activision, that you're making from your four? Four! I repeat it one more fucking time so you stupid people at the back can get it. Four! Godzilla and Kong skins that are required to unlock the melee blueprint. Four of them. $80 skins. Why don't you take some of that money and put it into your fucking servers? Because game two is a joke. We've talked about solo play many times on this channel, but one topic we never talked about with it is that it's draining on us. Solo players is draining to play Call of Duty. There used to be a time when you got onto a video game and it was there to relax you. I'm getting that experience with Battlefield 2042. I suck at the fucking game, but I'm having a blast. I could be getting my ass kicked, but then see an absolutely epic moment between two jets in the sky. Or I can see a tank shoot a helicopter out of the sky. You know what I get in Call of Duty? Advanced Uno standing on staircases. Arties laying in corners. Stargazers. The whole fucking game just feels the exact same. The experience is the exact same. Do you know what the only thing that changes every day and has a different experience is, is the item store. The 
The only thing that changes is how much Activision is willing to ask you for, how much they're willing to dip their hand into your pocket, how much they're willing to make sure that you know that you never actually own anything. If you're buying this shit and you're getting these skins this late into the life cycle, oh my God, I feel bad for you if you don't carry it over into Black Ops 6, which I hope they don't. Because God damn it, the immersion is gone. We got loser lowlifes running around with Snoop Dogg skins thinking that weed's cool. Going up against Kong and Godzilla skins that are just fucking, they just, they're garbage skins. You have to buy four of them at 20 something dollars, $80 a pop American. So it's like a hundred and something dollars Canadian to get a stupid fist. It's a first person shooter. And you morons are buying skins that make you look different to everybody else. You're buying skins to change everybody else's gaming experience, not your own. The gun you're holding still shoots the same. It just looks different. There's no progression in Call of Duty anymore, especially when it comes to a solo player. There's zero progression. There's no point in earning kill streaks. They all fucking suck. There's no sense in trying to grind camos because they all suck. Every good camo's in the store. There's no sense in even grinding the battle pass this season because it's all garbage default skins with weed tape to it. Only the fucking most stoned are going to think that's cool. There's nothing to do here. It's just getting thrown into the same arcade game over and over and over again and having the exact same experience every single time. And it's more so true for a solo player. A solo player knows this. A solo player knows that every time they get into a game, they know that it's going to be an awful experience for the most part. During this trilogy, you're going to see I'm top of the leaderboard. I gave up halfway through this game and I was still top of the leaderboard. You'll see me give up. I say it. I physically say it. I give up. There is no chance we're ever going to win this. And I stayed at the top of the leaderboards, not even trying. Second game, I throw it. Not going to lie, I played like a Vance Uno. We made fun of him. And guess what? We lost. Somebody else with another solo player had to pick up the slack of my dumbass. Game three, guess where we are? Top of the leaderboards again. But guess what happens? We lose. That's the rotation of a solo player. No progression. No fun. No interactions with humans. It's just silence. No immersion because the game has no identity. There's no identity in this game. I was looking through the Battlefield stuff the other day and just checking out their skins. There's nothing in there that breaks my immersion. There's nothing in there that makes me go, what the fuck is happening? Was there at one point? Maybe. But right now, when I run around, everybody looks like me. Everybody's a soldier fighting other soldiers. There's no skeletons because we're fucking cringy and edgy like that. There's no weed smoking people. There's no 87-year-old cheeches and chongs. There's no random Godzilla. Like, what is the identity of this game? Because it's no longer kill streaks. because you guys tank that into the fucking ground. It's no longer the outlook of the operators because none of the operators look like them. We used to have attachments to soap and price and ghost. Now, we don't even know who the fuck we're looking at anymore. You have the boys in here. You have Godzilla in here. You have random generic rappers that have been popular for years in here. Don't forget the random movie collabs that nobody gives a fuck about. Dune. Now you're reaching with season friggin' three with, oh, let's make everything weed themed. The battle of a solo player in Call of Duty has never been harsher. From getting punched down by SBMM, where you're constantly stuck carrying troglodytes like Advance Uno to the manipulation of EOMM constantly. If you're doing too good, well, we're going to make that sword have no range anymore. Already had to get right up against them, but there's going to be times where you're swinging your sword. It's not even going to kill them because that would make the other person feel bad. Two chat robots listening to everything you say. So God forbid you talk trash to your teammates. Surprised I didn't get banned immediately for telling advanced Uno to do more than stand on a staircase. I won't lie. He annoyed me the most because he stood in the same spot. The most, the other guys kind of moved around our spawn. He just stood there like a fucking dunce. Needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting tired, I'm getting worn down. I'm not having fun in this game. I'm having a ton of fun bringing you guys the battlefield content, but I, I, I dread getting onto this game. I think we're going to have to just admit we're going to have to drop it down to a couple videos a week of Call of Duty because I can't do this anymore. A lot of you guys want me to switch into co covering Call of Duty drama. The only reason I covered the BAM situation is because I'm so against cheating in video games. The videos did do well on the channel, and I appreciate you guys for that. But the second I start becoming a Call of Duty news channel, it's just going to be awful because I will never be that news channel like the rest of these esports covering channels that constantly play favorites and they won't they won't announce like how many COD news channels actually covered BAMs getting banned. Zero. Just regular people called them out. Regular people said, hey, this is bullshit. Regular people were like, good, finally, someone, someone of the cheaters got called out. If I become a news channel, I have a fear that that's what would happen. And if I stand up against this stuff, oh, I just get buried anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to switch into live commentary. Like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the trilogy. The adventures of a solo player, or lack thereof. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. I give up, man. I give up. We got this idiot here who's been standing here anchoring spawn the whole game. We got this guy back here who's been doing the same thing. None of these guys are moving. How am I supposed to carry them? Like, I can't, I can't do more than what I'm doing here. 
the guys I'm being forced to play with are fucking troglodytes. Like, I give up. I, I literally lost motivation. Halfway through this game, I realized that I'm never going to win. Never going to win, man. I'm never going to win, man. Look where it spawns me. This guy just killed me right there. And it spawned me on his dead body. Oh, look where unit is. Fucking garbage game, man. Garbage game, garbage community, garbage fucking player base. I know I'm destined to lose this game. What a fucking loser, dude. It, it, I thought this map was going to be good. I haven't played it before. Oh my god, was I ever incredibly wrong. This map is just people camping in corners. And ironically, in a map without corners. I give up, man. I give up. Call of Duty UN, man. I give up. From now on, I'll play exactly like you want me to. I won't move. I won't try to have fun. And I won't do shit, man. Pay to win skins, stupid ass animations that are fucking ruin immersion. This game is fucking asshole. I give up. I fucking give up. I need you guys to fucking help me out here, man. I'm talking to you, advanced fucking Uno, who's been sitting in the same spot the entire game. You need to do more. Fuck, dude. I'm surprised you guys didn't win faster. My team just stood in the same spots the whole time. Yeah, these guys just stood there, man. My whole fucking team stood in the spawn the whole time. Yeah, brother. Man, you got 28 deaths. You have 28 deaths. I have a fucking sword, you stupid camping piece of shit. Hey, that was actually pretty good. You know what? Fuck it. I love how the Call of Duty community immediately goes to the amount of deaths you have. So we're going to play exactly like our good buddy there. Uh, what the fuck was his name? Can't remember. We're going to play like Advanced Uno. We're going to play exactly like Advanced Uno. Next game. Let's go. Back to back videos. One long one. Let's go play like Advanced fucking Uno. Let's walk to one staircase and stand there the whole fucking game. <laughs> 